You know, a funny thing happened on the way to the Reading War Memorial tonight. I was driving in the Trans Am and I looked out the window and I saw a sight, the likes of which I won't soon forget. I saw a bum. I saw a bum, Eddie Kingston. I saw a bum wearing an Eddie Kingston t-shirt and I thought, how fitting, how fitting that a bum should be wearing that shirt advertising another bum. And I got out of the car and I said, where'd you get that? And they said, they were giving them away for free down at the halfway house, don't you know? Because it's Thanksgiving week and they're in a given mood. I said, how much you want for that thing? He said, how much? How much? Can you give me five bucks? I said, can I give you five bucks? And I stubbed them right in the face. And I took this shirt and I put it on. And you know what? It itches and it, it smells. And it smells terrible. But you know, you know, I'm so glad. I'm so glad for the experience because I'm happy for you, Eddie Kingston. Happy that you have some slimmer of fame. You know, Eddie Kingston, I don't know what I have left to do to you. I've beaten you for the belt. I've beaten you here. I've beaten you up in Canada. You're like that dog that doesn't know when to give up. But this weekend, my man, this weekend, I have a mission. I have a mission because it's going to be a happy Thanksgiving for Larry Sweeney. And the only way it's going to be a happy Thanksgiving for Larry Sweeney is if there's no Thanksgiving for Eddie Kingston.